You may have noticed that I like FreeBSD. In fact, I like it so much I use it exclusively as my main daily driver, and I may have made a video or two about it. So, it's with this in mind that I like to get the word out, and in the main, I like to think I do a good job. So I've put together a little guide on how you too can help get the message out about FreeBSD. Share your personal experiences, both good and bad, with FreeBSD. Everyone knows that software can have bugs, and if we only have glowing comments about FreeBSD, then we really aren't being honest to ourselves and other potential users, who may encounter those bugs and be surprised because no one has mentioned it anywhere. But we should also be loud with praise when it's due. The long uptimes, the fantastic integrated ZFS support, jails, beehive, etc., all worthy of high praise. If someone has an operating system need or problem that FreeBSD may be able to solve, offer to provide pointers to the appropriate information, such as web pages, magazine articles, books, consultants, and the odd video or two. Also, try to respond to one new user posting every week. Seek out the tough questions. You may be the only one to respond, and you may learn something in the process. I certainly always do. If you don't know the answer, and no one knows all the answers, then try to point the person asking the question to someone or some place where the answer resides. Offer to help someone install or start using FreeBSD and try to follow up to make sure that they are able to use their system effectively. They may be a new user whose first time you will be helping with or they may be a seasoned Linux user wanting to experience life on the other side of the tracks. Either way, a helping hand is always welcome in these situations. Some people still believe that FreeBSD and other Unix-like operating systems operate only in text mode. We have to make sure that they're aware of the availability of graphical desktops and applications, such as KDE and LibreOffice. If the opportunity arises, make a presentation. You can use a USB stick with a live FreeBSD session, like the video I did on this a bit earlier. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Or you could use NomadBSD or GhostBSD. If you have your own machine at hand, then fire it up. Give a rundown of what you use and what you do with FreeBSD. If you tell and don't show, it is only half effective. Seek out independent software developers and offer to make a presentation about FreeBSD, its strengths and features, and perhaps let them know that there are millions of FreeBSD users who would love a FreeBSD version of their software. Offer to help if you can with coding or even suggest a funding solution if there isn't one. If there is one, then donate. It may be the developer's only source of funding for the project. And letting them know it was a FreeBSD user helping, well, that wouldn't hurt, would it? Always consider the viewpoint of the person to whom you are advocating FreeBSD. For the non-IT sector, the ease of use, support and hardware compatibility are usually the top concerns. For those in the IT field, then support, reliability, interoperability and cost are all factors that must be considered especially when you consider the rival alternatives available. Participate. Participate. It's a rallying cry that's easy to say, but it doesn't have to be difficult to implement. And you don't need to be a programmer or indeed make videos to help. If you have benefited from FreeBSD, then please consider assisting the community by Submitting detailed bug reports, writing documentation, create artwork, suggest enhancements, provide technical support, contribute software, donate equipment, or help with financial support. 
encourage FreeBSD based websites to submit their URLs to the FreeBSD Foundation resources page. You can do this via Twitter if you wish. And suggest that banners promoting FreeBSD be displayed on their site, if possible. At the end of the day, if you don't shout out to the rest of the world that you are a FreeBSD user, then who will know? You need to get the message out. Being an advocate isn't always an easy path. It can be a lonely one when all around either don't know about FreeBSD or perhaps already have a wrong idea about it. I know, I've been there. And over the time I've had my YouTube channel, I've had many people tell me that I'm wrong, that I should be using this or that OS, and that I am trying to enroll people into a cult church. I remember one particular unbalanced person who said, I was like a priest at the cult of FreeBSD trying to brainwash with talk of demons and beasties. And yes, that is still a common line of comment. Thankfully, these people are few and far between, with the majority open to the idea that there are more than three platforms, Windows, MacOS and Linux. So at the very least, there is still hope for FreeBSD, and especially FreeBSD on the desktop. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more FreeBSD videos, then consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you don't miss out. And I'll catch you next time.